Hey, what's up? The Brew Dudes back here with another beer. Great Divide Brewing Company, Yeti Imperial Stout. Let's pour this. All right, we have the Yeti here. A Great Divide Brewing Monster. It's the Imperial Stout. Man, 9.5% alcohol by volume. The Yeti Imperial Stout is an onslaught of the senses. It starts with big roasty malt flavor that gives you a rich caramel and toffee notes. Yeti gets a bold hop character from enormous quantity of American hops. It weighs in at hefty 75 international bitter units, IBUs. It has medals. Great American Beer Festival 2009 Silver Medal. Bronze Medal Great American Beer Festival 2008. Silver Medal Great American Beer Festival 2005. Suggested food pairings, grilled steak and leeks, rosemary, potatoes, and au gratin. Rockford blue cheese, creme brulee. Man, I've had this before once. And let me tell you something. This is when I first started drinking beer and I was like, whoa. I couldn't finish it. It's such a bold beer. Well, now it's several, several years later. Uh, and let's try it now. Ooh, rich malt depth of roasted notes, caramel. <sighs> Doesn't have like a specific, you know, coffee, coffee, but it has a roasted burnt malt. Ah, man. Have Yosemite National Park made it to the top? What better than having a Yosemite National Park glass trying to find the Yeti, right? Because that's probably where I'll find it. Look how black tar. Look at the head on that. Oh, man. Dark chocolate tan head, almost like a milkshake. Small little large bubbles. That didn't make sense, right? Small little bubbles kind of form at the center. Rich. It poured like oil. Okay, like spent oil, like burnt. You just, you say you skipped your tune up for a while and you poured this oil and you drained it out. And it's like, didn't even make a sound when it poured. Thick, thick, two inch head, two and a half inch head that's just stuck. It moves as one. I probably have to break through the foam to get to the beer. Can't see through it. That tells you that. Dark, rich, caramel, roasted, dark malt, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coffee. Not necessarily straight coffee like a lot of coffee beers. Well, this is an imperial stout, so you're going to get the rich malt from uh, the, the malt that has been heated at high, te roasted at high temperatures. <sighs> smells really good. Definitely a barley. Denver, Colorado. Let's try it. Woo. Just like I remember it. Thick, full, full body. I don't even know if they have a character of the bod the mouthfeel in this. It's like fuller bodied. Almost syrupy like 75 ABUs just kick you in the face. Man, that sticky. I mean, like I feel like it's just just straight malt. Because what they probably did here is just use a whole bunch of barley malt and roasted malt. There's fermentable malts and then there's non-fermentable malts that are used primarily for color and scent and flavor. If I wanna achieve this darkness like this, I'm gonna use a lot of roasted, roasted, high roasted malts that a majority of it is non-fermentable. If I wanna achieve 9.5%, I need to get a yeast that's going to even be able to support that. And even then, it won't fully ferment it all out. It'll leave a body that's so full, just like this, and so delicious. Man, this thing is great. Chocolatey, roasty coffee, 
a little bit of milkish kind of like a milkshake. Full bodied, thick, super thick, full, full body, slick. It's like drinking a little bit of syrup. Like you made yourself a milk, a, a, like chocolate milk and you just made it a little bit too much Hershey's. That's how it feels. Bold, definitely not a beginning beer. If you are going to drink an Imperial Stout, I do recommend this one. But if you've never had one, I don't recommend you go dive directly in this. I recommend you, you burn your palate a little bit with a little porter. And then maybe move up to a stout and then move into these big beers right here. This beer here is a beast. I mean, it's called a Yeti, right? Established 1994. Great Divide Brewing Company. Three, three medals, silver, bronze, silver at the Great American Beer Festival. 75 IBUs of kick to the face with those American hops. 9%, 9.5% alcohol by volume. I got it at Total Wine. It cost me about a dollar fifty. No, actually about three dollars. There was a bigger one that runs about seven fifty. Big beer. It's almost like a meal. If you're on a meal replacement plan, get this. If you want dessert and want to get messed up, get this. Or if you're just bold and trying to figure it out just like me, get it. It's delicious. It's precious. It's unique, one of a kind, but bold and strong, and it's an imperial stout that will knock you on your knees. With that said, the brew dude is out.